Welcome to the Hunter Report. This thing, this report, exists on a few mediums, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, other places. And it's been a lot of things. It's been a cooking channel, it's been a tech channel, it's been a vlog, and some other things. And I'm sort of trying to do everything that I did, except evolve as well. And it's just a work in progress. And for those of you who've been with me or who've tuned in more than once, thank you so much. I know I've spoken to a lot of people out there and feel free to just leave some comments and ask me any questions. Now to the matter at hand. In the most general way, these are iPhone tripods. And I use these in my daily vlogs for beautiful sequences like this. To me, the gear doesn't matter so much. It matters, but there's so many other things that matter. For example, having a nice compact iPhone like this gives me more flexibility than holding a camera like this. I can't fit a camera like this in my pocket. And to me, that flexibility is key. One, I shoot professionally with a big camera, so I'm tired. But the other thing is that having this in my pocket quickly allows me to take it out sort of like a pew and just take shots. And then having a pocketable tripod gives me the option to have steady shots for time lapses or for other things, just for self-shooting. And I've been using this combo right here, which is a ReadyCam plus a Joby pod for a while. And there's a few differences and we're gonna go over the pros and cons. This right here is the Joby, so same company down here. And the top is no longer a ReadyCam. The top thing is a Manfrotto. Now, just look at this right here, it twists and then you can compress everything right here. Look at that form factor. Now that's a big deal to me compared to this right here. I just take the phone right here and I plop it into my pocket. That's pretty normal. And then I would take the old tripod right here and you can break off the top and that, but then you put this in your pocket and that's already quite bulky. And then you have to put this in your pocket. And then if I'm wearing jeans, and here's a little battery that I like to carry around give me a little extra juice. Okay, so look at this. Like, this is a really bulky pocket right here. And then it's like hard to get things out. So that's the old right here. Here's the new thing, right? I just put them in my pocket. Look at that, it, the pocket bulk is like so slim. And I can get the battery in here too if I need it. That to me is one of the primary reasons why I switched to this setup. But the second reason is that with this Joby right here, there's something wrong with the design, like just a little bit of See, jiggle right there and it comes off. And I actually find that when I'm like, I plop it down and you know, I put, I try and put the camera in and then I like, see, look at that. I try and frame things up. It came off, I wasn't even trying that hard. So that's a big con right there with this setup. Let's just keep that right there. Now there are a few pros in this thing right here. One thing is that the arms here allow you to clamp onto some surfaces that this, does not. So you get a little bit more flexibility right here. You know, you can like clamp on to the sides of things like that right there. See, it's on the side of the table. Let me, let me show you guys. It's right there. It's on the side of the table. Ooh. So if um, Joby or some other company were to create a tripod with a better mechanism up here that didn't fall off all the time and with a slightly slimmer uh, profile, I think you could do this in metal and have it be way thinner, I think that'd be an awesome product. And, and I'd love to make like a Kickstarter on that, but I just don't think that I have the following to really do that. So that was one benefit right here, that the clamp leg versus just the, the tripod leg. The other cool thing though about this, this Joby right here is that it does give you, you see, rotational motion. So it's almost as good as this. You see, that rotation allows you to line up with horizon lines to get nice straight lines and it gives you the flexibility that you do need. So let me show you another difference between the two setups. So I actually think both of these are equally stable. They're both made of metal. They both have standard quarter inch tripod jacks right on the bottom. And one small benefit right here on the Manfrotto is that it has a little cold shoe mount right here. So you can get anything up here, a microphone, a light, uh, another mount. You can even put another, uh, GoPro or camera up here for, I don't know, backwards angler, just, the creativity is really unlimited. So that's sort of cool right here is the, is the cold shoe mount. That's really it right there. You know, I acquired this ReadyCam like almost two years ago and I think a lot more people are just using their iPhone as their primary device. I would encourage you to do that because it just gives you the fastness, the speed. So that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and please leave me some 
comments and I'd love to interact with you guys. And uh, go ahead and check the description below if you want to figure out where to get this because I'm really pushing this right here. I just think it's basically better than this setup for most use cases. That's about it. See you soon.